tackle. Six man tag team matches are always chaotic. Buckle up and get ready for this one is underway. We've seen some amazing six man tag team matches in the past, and I'm sure this one will rank right up there with some of the best. Big punch finds its mark. Oh! What a punch! What a stomp! Good grief! What a strike! Wicked clothesline! Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Champ not looking good right now. He's a true champion. Man. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's gonna get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. Close quarters, brutal knee right to the face. So much damage inflicted. Oh, what impact. Enough already. I trapped the leg into him. What a bionic elbow. Trained by the legendary hero Matt Suda, Lex Luger first made a name for himself in Florida before becoming a member of the Four Horsemen in WCW. That's where Luger rose to fame as the total package. Hip drop. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps oh. the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. Lex Luger dominated WCW as a World United States and Tag Team Champion. Sports Entertainment was stunned when Luger appeared in an interview segment during WrestleMania 8 and shortly thereafter became the narcissist. In July of 1993, Lex Luger showed his American pride when he body slammed the 550-pound Yokozuna on the deck of the USS Intrepid. Luger became a WWE hero until he made a shocking return to WCW during the 1995 premiere broadcast of Monday Nitro. Before being trained for the squared circle by the legendary hero Matsuda, Lex Luger played professional football in the Canadian Football League, the NFL, and the USFL. Luger also played football in college at Penn State University and the University of Miami. Stop! Good grief! It's easy to tell by seeing Lex Luger move to the ring that he's a world-class athlete. Luger's football background spans playing at the highest level as a collegiate star and in the pros. Lex Luger brought that same dedication and intensity to sports entertainment. Lex Luger could have played sports at the professional level in any sport he chose. We should all feel blessed that the total package decided to commit to sports entertainment. I don't see how anyone could see it any other way. There he goes, crashing to the floor. And Sting slips out of harm's way. Crashing down the hard way. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. There's a lot of different ways this can go, Byron. Yeah, and almost none of them are good. Beautiful technique. A bad place to be for the challenger. Rather than continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. At this point, he really has to think about mixing it up a bit. Maybe implement more of a power game into his offense. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be this close. This is unreal. He has something big planned. Russian leg sweep. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there.
This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars pro well rollers. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Oh, what a crash. When this guy's on, look out. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Look at this. What a clothesline. Ouch. That's do it. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Slam with authority. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Headlock. Oh, and strong ladder hits. Jeez, that's got to hurt. Setting up for a oh, neck breaker. Oh. Here's his moment, Michael. This is Sting's chance. Incoming! All right, it doesn't get much more elementary than this. The only thing left here to do is climb the ladder and win this match. Even this superstar can do that. Now let's get another look at those six superstars going head-to-head -to -head and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Victory. You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match.